to you. Can we film this video? Hey, it's Calista. Welcome to my channel. And today I've got a special guest. You might recognize him. If me. <laughs> this is my brother Oliver. Hi. And he's the one who screams at me for not doing proper skincare. Yes. <laughs> Should. So we thought today we'd talk about um, all the skincare that we've been using or all the skincare that we've bought recently that we are looking forward to trying. I'm quite into skincare. I do like, uh, you know, learning about skincare, learning about all the different products and ingredients that do different things. So I'm, I have, well, basically a combination. I have a really oily T-zone. And my nickname for him is to be Oily Burr. But I do get dryness around um, the sides of my face. And also I do have sensitive skin. So that factors in a lot in the products I use because some products sting me, they can make me get deep, patchy skin, they can make me red. Just in general, I have very sensitive skin and scalp as well, but that's a different story. And I have very dry or dehydrated skin because I don't know how to drink water. So, the products we use are pretty different. My favourite makeup remover or the cleansing part is usually the Shiomura cleansing oil. I like to use the green one and the brown one but I've actually just run out of it. While I'm waiting to get more, I actually picked this up because I want to try it. It's from The Mineral. It's got virgin coconut oil, aloe vera juice, and organic rose water. The guy actually told me that it will remove waterproof mascara, so I'll put it to the test. But if you've used it, let me know what you think about it. I've been looking forward to try this. It's called the All Clean Balm. There it is. So uh, this is supposed to be really highly reviewed. It's part of the double cleanse method, if you guys know. So you start with the oil or balm cleanser, and then you wash it off, you emulsify it, and then wash it off, and then you go in with a foam cleanser to complete the two-step process. So this is what it looks like. Beautiful packaging, I would say. Mm -hmm. Really, really pretty. Inside, you get a little spatula. Um, we've used it already. <laughs> yep, we tried it last night. So this is the protection, and this is how it looks mm -hmm. inside. Once you put it on your skin, it dissolves into an oil and then you massage it into your skin. It, it's quite nourishing, I would say. It doesn't make your skin dry. And then um, once you add water, it becomes milky and then it uh, basically emulsifies and then you, you can wash it off. We've only used it once, but my skin was so soft and smooth. Yeah. It was crazy. Like I didn't even feel like double cleansing because I just kind of <laughs> wanted to touch my skin. But I did and the cleanser that I'm using right now is um, from Bare Essentials. I have pretty okay <coughs> skin. I'm not sensitive to a lot of things. So it's been okay for me, I guess. Cleansers are really important to me because of my sensitive skin. So this one I like. It doesn't leave your skin dry. Another one I like, which I don't have with me, is the COSRX Low pH Good Morning Cleanser. I think it has salicylic acid inside, or a BHA. So it also gently exfoliates your skin and cleans out your pores as well. I quite like that one. Thanks for letting me try that. Another one that uh, I've tried is this um, I don't know how to pronounce that. cow lion, <laughs> I don't know, pore triple action cleansing stick. It's also a balm to oil to foam. Kind of looks like a deodorant to me. <laughs> I will say it leaves your skin a little bit drier than the Hamish, probably because it's you know it's supposed to clean out your pores and everything. I think I prefer this one a little bit more. We go on to toner. Obviously, this is one that I have had a lot of use out of. It's been really good. It's the fresh rose deep hydration facial toner and when you put it on I do think it makes your skin look very uh, feel very smooth it has actual rose petals yep. in it you have to kind of keep like doing this to get it out because the rose petals keep clogging up the uh, top hole I'm probably gonna get the same one after this I'm not sure yet it's been really good and I swear by toner like on days that I can't put toner on I just feel like it's not complete I feel like there's no base for my moisturizer it doesn't sink in as well i do think that toners are very important but make sure you don't get toners that have alcohol in it the old school toners have a lot of alcohol in it which dries out your skin so it makes you temporarily feel like your skin is really tired and nice but it's bad for you in the long run i've been using this as you can see you won't let me use it a bit in left. some of you may know it's a holy grail now among some of the beauty gurus and i can see why it's super hydrating so this is the mist version i got this online i think it was is it healthier? I don't know. For me, the only difference is that it's more convenient. You can just spray instead of pouring it onto your hand and then, you know, patting. Whereas toners, for me, I like to use cotton. I feel like it's an extra step of cleansing and especially at night, like when you wipe your face with toner, there is always yeah. some extra. I know that she likes using yeah. the cotton pad. I just feel like I get more when I pat it in and I use it mainly for 
the hydrating part rather than the because I, I I don't really think I need to remove much. But this is really good. I'm definitely gonna repurchase this. And then I always follow it up with this is I don't know if you would call this a toner. Basically a hyaluronic acid hydrating lotion from Hada Labo. I really like this. I think this is super beneficial. Like it really really hydrates my skin. I can see a huge difference when I and use it's it. It's really affordable as well, right? Yeah, really affordable. If you want something thinner, they have the light version. This is the premium version that I'm trying. It's a little bit thicker consistency, but they both work pretty similarly. I, I, I love these. So this is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% Plus B5. I've been using this every day after my toner. It has been making my face a little plumper maybe. Yeah. Like, like it's, it's a little bouncier. And before I was using this one, um, I was actually using the one from Dior. This one was good as well, but it's a little stickier. I don't like my face feeling sticky. It really depends on what you prefer, I guess. But I mean, I guess because I don't use foundation or anything, so... Honestly, I don't know what I say is for what, so I just kind of looked at it and it says it supports hydration and repair. I mean, it does what it says it does. For serum, sometimes I'll switch it up. Recently, I've been using this from The Ordinary. Magnesium Ascorbyl Phosphate 10%. Uh, so The Ordinary, they do a lot of products, but most of them are really technical names. So you really have to know what your ingredients are. What it is, it's basically a vitamin C derivative. So it gives you vitamin C without stability issues that uh, pure vitamin C has. I haven't seen a huge effect yet with this, but it's supposed to work uh, over time. So we'll see after a few months. And then immediately after serum, I go in with a moisturizer because... I don't have time for so many things. So this is part of the set that I bought from Althea with the cleanser and it also comes with a toner which I haven't started using yet. I mean it's okay, it's just like it's a basic moisturizer that's been working. So this is highly recommended by a lot of people. An affordable version of you know a, a nice watery gel moisturizer. Again, I have sensitive skin so it's sometimes difficult for me to find moisturizers but this one so far I really like it. Absorbs really quickly into your skin and you do feel the moisture. So when you put it on your skin it's like cooling, really melts into your skin. Yeah. And then after like a... Oh! <laughs> Bloopers! Bloopers! You have it on your neck. Don't do that again. Yeah. Your table so does... expensive! Yeah, and your table doesn't need moisturizer. <laughs> Speaking of expensive, this is actually quite affordable. You know Guardian and Watson sometimes they have those really big sales on skincare. So I got this at 40% off. So it was only like 40 ringgit, I think. He knows where all the sales are. So. Cheapskate for life. <laughs> when I'm having a really sensitive skin day and even this is stinging me, then I will go in with my trusty Cetaphil moisturizing cream. It doesn't sting me and it really, really, really moisturizes. So I like this one. Okay, so especially because of our Caucasian skin, there is no way that I will leave the house without sunblock. Even my freckles on my nose and everything, they're very prominent now. Like they used to come out in the sun and then go back in and now they just kind of stay there. I use a CC cream on days that I've got shoots or whatever because this one, the coverage is quite high. This one's the Pure Beauty CC Cream in Ivory. It's got SPF 50 plus PA++ plus plus plus. I do a lot of video and photo work so you can tell the coverage is quite high. If you're exposed to any sun, you should be wearing sun protection, even if you're indoors and you have a window open. For me, I use the Biore UV Watery Essence with SPF 50 plus and PA++++, the aqua rich one. <coughs> this is yeah. really good because a lot of people don't like to wear sunscreen because sometimes it leaves white cast yep. or it can be, you know, just gross. But this is really nice. It's watery and you don't feel it. It's, it's like a moisturizer. So I use this every day and so far it's really good. And then at night, after I remove my makeup and everything, I will usually go in with this glycolic acid, 7%. It's a toning solution. I've been trying it and I think it's been doing a lot of good. So this one says use ideally in the PM. Mm. So that's why I don't use it in the daytime and no more than once a day. So the reason you use this in the night, it's basically a chemical exfoliant again. Mm -hmm. So it makes you more prone to sun damage. When I put this one on at night, I leave it slightly wet, like slightly still damp on my face. And then I go straight in with this Alpha Arbutin 2% plus HA. Both of them are from The Ordinary as well. So after I go in with this one, which is for hyperpigmentation and dark spots which by the way i have noticed they've gone down a lot i think this has been helping damn caucasian skin <laughs> okay so for me after i cleanse my face at night on some nights i'll use this i haven't used much of it yet it's the cosrx bha blackhead power liquid it's supposed to clean up your pores uh, put it on your hand and you know sweep it over your face on nights when i don't use this i will again go with my laneige and then of course my Hyaluronic acid. For serums, I will use 
these from The Ordinary. One is the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1% and one is the, the buffet. The niacinamide is supposed to be good for hydration and reduction of pores. I have a problem with this one, uh, whereby I experience pilling. It's basically when you put it on and um, if you just rub it a little bit, it will start bunching up. Oh. Um, and apparently, sometimes it's a reaction with other products you're using and sometimes it's the silicone inside. You can actually mix them um, together, then it actually reduces that. Um, so I mix it with this, the buffet. This is good for anti-aging and hydration. This has been not bad, I feel pretty good. For moisturizer, of course, I'll go in with my Cetaphil if I'm sensitive or I need more hydration. If not, I'll just use my water gel, Hydro Boost. Sometimes I use this one as well. This is the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. It's supposed to be really good for soothing and for sensitive skin. Is it blue? Um, yeah, it's actually a really pretty color, really pretty. I know a lot of people use sheet masks like daily. I'm not one of those people. Mm. I barely use them weekly. Who has the time? When I do, on one of those rare occasions, use them. I've been finding this one has been really, really good. My mom gave it to me and her Korean student gave them to her. Yeah. The effect is immediate and it fits perfectly. Like it's one of those masks that just like... Sticks to your face. Yeah, yeah. and you don't look like crazy. And immediately it's like glowy, smooth, really soft, and I don't know, I just really like it. It's from Mediheal, and it's the Collagen Impact Essential Mask. Yeah, this one is pretty good. Um, I do see an effect, but I feel like most sheet masks are pretty okay. Mm. Basically what I use it as is basically like a serum. So um, I'll skip my serums and then I'll put this on um, after my toner and my hyaluronic acid, and then I'll let this sit on my face for a while. Make sure you take it off within the time it says, don't let it dry completely, mm -hmm. because it can actually draw moisture back out of your skin. So always follow it up with a moisturizer to lock in all that moisture, or else it's just gonna evaporate again. I bet you don't do that. By the way, this is the, the Oddbo Vitamin Essential Brightening Mask. I got this from my friend Jean. Thanks, Jean. She gave me like a bunch. I also have one more mask to mention, the Glam Glow. Um, this is like a small size version. Um, I actually like most of the Glam Glow masks. Um, only problem is they're quite expensive. I quite use it really heavy. sparingly. Let me try this one. This one is the Gravity Mud, so it's like uh, anti-aging. I mainly like it because it's such a pretty color. This is the silvery one. It's basically like your a space man or something. Can you see it? The sheen. I think that's about it. Okay, yeah. that was a lot of products. Um, I'm gonna leave them in the description box below if you yep. wanna check them out. And also, if you have any products that you want us to try or you wanna ask us about, just drop a comment, um, like this video because um, Ollie spent a lot of money on his products. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Please subscribe to this channel. Please like the video. Drop a comment down below on what you think of all the products and if you've used any of the products. Follow him on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Yeah. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. Pack a like, pack a share, pack a pose. <laughs> <laughs>